2022 silly season has been a wild ride, thanks to Fernando Alonso and Oscar Piastri giving Alpine the middle finger. Since then, things have calmed down and we're just left with three open spots. Alonso's seat at Alpine, Latifi's seat at Williams, and Schumacher's seat at Haas. As the son of legendary driver Michael Schumacher, the expectations and patience for Mick were always going to be high, but a season of disappointment has been sprinkled with disaster, and his most recent mistake has made Gunther Steiner furious. Will he secure a seat in 2023, or are we seeing the last few races of Mick Schumacher? Let's check it out. Mick Schumacher has had some pretty uncomfortable crashes this season. In Monaco, he ripped his car in half after a driver error left him in the wall. It was a shocking-looking crash, but it happened in the most benign of circumstances. The Switzerland native went offline onto a damp part of the track, causing him to spin in the swimming pool chicane. That crash was estimated to have cost Haas $1.1 million in repairs and parts. The worst one he had this season came in the season's second race at the Saudi Arabian GP, where he crashed his VF22 during qualifying. The major impact saw the car split into two halves as the gearbox detached from the chassis on the fastest street circuit of the season. That one was a touch more expensive, costing approximately $2.048 million in repairs. The budget cap this year may be at $140 million, but the Haas budget is definitely lower than that. The $3.148 million Mick has cost Haas with just those two crashes could easily be 3% of Haas's entire budget for the year. Lewis Hamilton recently claimed that he would have won the 2021 World Drivers' Championship if Mercedes would have been able to spend $300,000 more on upgrades. Just imagine what Haas could do with $3.148 million. They wouldn't be winning anything, but they would be much, much quicker. Or maybe Gunther could stop doing catalogue shoots to help fund the team. Haas were looking very racy during a very wet free practice session on Friday. Kevin Magnussen managed fifth fastest during both sessions, which will be encouraging for the Haas team. He celebrated his 30th birthday this week, and a best finish of the season would be a great way to celebrate. The weather is meant to dry up over the weekend, but there is still a chance of rain on Sunday. In free practice one, Mick managed seventh fastest overall, but ended his session in the worst way possible. What looked to be a big case of aquaplaning destroyed Mick's car right at the end of FP1. Completely out of control, his car spun around, going down the straight before beelining for the nearest wall and shunting it head-on. The front suspension and wing were completely destroyed, as well as the rear suspension, nose, floor, and more expensively, the chassis. He didn't reappear for FP2 and the repair job for the team looked huge. It's disappointing, the Haas team boss told F1 TV. We just went out to do a race start to get data for Sunday, and then on the way in from the race start, Mick crashed the car, aquaplaned, and crashed into the barrier, which damaged the car quite heavily. At a time when Schumacher is racing for his career, and Steiner has yet to decide if he wants to continue with the German next season, the team boss was quick to point out this was Schumacher's third big hit of the season. It's the third time now. The potential damage is only potential, because we need to x-ray it and see if it's cracked enough, he said. But it is quite, as you say, frustrating. For a big team with a big budget, this would be a huge problem. For Haas with their smaller budget, these crashes are crippling. It affects not just Mick's performance, but also Kevin's, as money that could be spent on development and upgrades is instead being spent on fixing Mick's car. The latest crash will easily cost the team another $1 million, bringing his total for the season to over $4 million. Haas could have paid George Russell's salary for that amount of money, but instead, they're paying for Schumacher's mistakes. The pressure is on Mick now, and with five races left in the season, crashing badly in practice is a disaster. But Haas still haven't signed a replacement, so maybe there is still a chance. Gunther Steiner says Mick Schumacher needs to deliver good performances more consistently if he wants to retain his Haas seat. The young German joined the team at a difficult time. In his first season, he was part of an all-rookie driver lineup, and in 2022, preseason was disrupted by the late departure of Nikita Mazepin. Schumacher also had the unwanted tag of reaching fourth place on the all-time list of drivers to go the highest number of races without scoring their first point. Schumacher broke that streak at Silverstone and followed it up with a P6 in Austria, but has failed to finish in the top 10 since then. 
With his future on the line, his boss Steiner has commented that Schumacher needs to improve his consistency if he is to remain at Haas. That hasn't been decided yet, Steiner replied when asked who will partner Kevin Magnussen in 2023. We are considering what is best for the development of the team. Are we just looking at the technology or the driving element as well? I'll be honest, we don't know if Mick will stay or not. He has delivered very good races in Canada, Britain and Austria, but he lacks consistency. He would have to deliver strong performances more often. We're not in a hurry regarding the driver question, and Mick still has chances to show what he can do. Steiner also revealed he was talking to everybody, following recent reports linking Nico Hülkenberg with a return to F1. I've spoken to most of the drivers in question. That's my job, said Steiner. There is nothing concrete yet. Mick hasn't been helped by on-track incidents recently. Running just outside the top 10 in what was proving to be a race of attrition on a wet Marina Bay circuit, George Russell and Mick Schumacher almost had their names added to the casualty list when they collided at Turn 1. Russell, frustrated at being stuck behind the German, said over the radio, Schumacher's defending like it's the race of his life, crikey, before trying to outbreak him into the corner. Every race is the race of Schumacher's life, George. I'm sure Russell would have defended just as hard if the roles were reversed. That move put George on the wet part of the track with the Mercedes driver keen to get back onto the dry line. Only Schumacher was there. Russell connected with the Haas car and both drivers were forced into the pits with punctures. Russell was punished by the stewards for causing the accident and was definitely at fault, though he did his best to deny any blame later. The Mercedes driver got ridiculed on social media for the incident with some excellent memes, but the highlight had to be from Haas's official Twitter page. It was an excellent reference to Toto Wolff's now immortal line, No Michael, no, that is so not right. Clearly, the admin running the page was as annoyed at George as the rest of us. There are those in the sport that have shown some support for the Haas driver as he looks to secure a third season in F1. Mick is currently in talks with Williams for a drive alongside Alex Albon in 2023. Williams boss Jos Capito has talked him up, telling Sky Deutschland the driver is very fast and a good guy. He should be on the list of teams that still have a seat. And with Schumacher seemingly on the market, Williams certainly hold an interest in his services. Yes, of course, Capito told the media when asked if Schumacher was a candidate. Mick is an option. He also deserves to stay in Formula 1. We'll see if that happens, but he's definitely an option for us. Continuing on the subject of a Schumacher possibly behind the wheel of a Williams, Capito said with a smile, that would certainly be charming. He added that Schumacher possesses the potential to really move forward and be a very good driver in Formula 1. Whether Haas go for current Aston Martin reserve Nico Hülkenberg or Mick Schumacher, the Haas boss seems sick of rookies for the time being. After putting Schumacher alongside fellow rookie Nikita Mazepin in 2021, Steiner wants to avoid a similar headache next year. Still thinking, you know, we want to take our time to make sure that next year, at no stage we think, we did this too quick. Because we don't need to be in a hurry now, Steiner said in Singapore. There is not a lot out there anymore on open seats and drivers. There's not a lot of options, so we just want to make sure that we take the right decision and have no regrets next year, he added. I would say I'm done in the moment with rookies for the foreseeable future. If Mick goes, it will be a shame, but you can understand why Haas would make the decision. Mick has cost the team far too much money this season. Money that could have been spent on making the car more competitive and enabling the drivers to challenge for points more regularly. Just because he has a Schumacher name does not mean he will turn into his father Michael. If he goes, it won't be because the expectations were too high for what he can achieve, it'll be because his own performances were too low. Would you keep Mick around if you were Haas? Or maybe you think he has a place at Williams? Let us know where you think he'll end up down below and until next time, drive safe and bye for now.